Hello, everyone. Welcome to Enchanted Babes, where sometimes I accidentally interrupt people. Um, this is the the show with the big gay mermaids, and I am Nerd Kicks, your your uh, birthday girl DM. And as always, I'm joined by my players, Ashta, Alex, and Sun. <laughs> We're gonna start um, with our usual announcement. Make sure that you come follow us on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, um, and you can, you know, catch. Sometimes Sun will post screenshots from the game. Sometimes we post, you know, funny videos. Um, those are our, our socials. So make sure you follow us on all of those. And we're gonna start with a surprise um, that no one on the stream has seen and only like, only I know about this. So I can't see your faces. My internet's slow, so I can only see Alex's face and I'm kind of sad about it. So we'll start with Alex. If I can direct your attention to Owlbear, uh, my me. players. Okay. I commissioned some character art. We have official character art, uh, <gasps> courtesy of oh. Jade at Unusual Usual Studios. Uh, you can find oh. her on. <laughs> you can find her on uh, Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, I believe, all under Unusual Usual Studios. Um, these will be going up on our Instagram very soon, and we'll tag them there as well. Um, so yeah, this is Elomi, our wonderful merfolk bard. Um, next up we have our Ursulani rogue, Tama. So this is the, the half octopus race. Whoa! That is so... Ah! <laughs> that is so cool! And then last but absolutely not least, we have our Merbolg monk. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I love them so much. I'm trying very hard not to cry. Oh my god. I've been oh. sitting on this for like two weeks now. And they just got finished on Monday, um, or uh, yeah, on Sunday, excuse me. She she thought she was gonna be done a while ago and then she's like, I need more time because uh, you know, she wanted to make sure she put a lot of care into it. And I really, I think they came out just utterly gorgeous. And then on Sunday yes. she said they were done and I was like, just in time for my birthday. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. So it's been so hard not to say anything to you guys. And I'm so pleased. Like I said, we will be posting these on our Instagram and everything, but these are our official character arts for the stream. I love them. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying hard not to cry too. <laughs> um, so that so beautiful. said, <laughs> I will leave it on the Merbolg because our Merbolg is going to do our recap. So, Leo is going to take off the skull mask that's on top of their head and hold it in front of them and say, well, uh, today we went into the forest to see if we could find out what was going on with these uh, wolf eels and um, we came across this hut and we had to, you know, bypass the wolf eels. Good thing they like rations, I figured that one out. But uh, inside the hut there was this strange mirror which I decided to touch, which is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but you know, I got stuck in like some sort of weird world for a while, but then... Uh, my two friends managed to get me out but also when they got me out there were a bunch of other people like there were five other people there were like three axolotl folks axolorns and there was one other merbolg folk anyway one of the axolorns seemed a little bit suspicious so you know i was like yeah you don't seem to be telling the truth and then they were like well you know here have my sword and so we had like this 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 fight and eventually eventually i figured out that the axolorn was um in some sort of disguise and uh it turns out this was a guy called niftosh that had somehow managed to trap 
one of the twin sisters into the mirror for a really long time. Anyway, we've got him tied up and currently incapacitated and we're working out what on earth to do with him. Anyway, Mum, that's what's happened today. Love you. And I'm going to put the skull back on my head. Okay, so to set the scene, we are in a small hut that is now quite crowded. Um, I believe Nitosh is tied at the foot of the bed, yeah? Yes. And there is a, a glowing jellyfish made of light that is just starting to dissipate in the center of the room. Um, and you should all pretty much be healed up to full from that. Um, so at this point, um, Mirden and Lenda, the twins who are now 20 years apart, are sort of settling um, settling onto the bed and, and kind of taking a breath for the first time. And then Mirden says, you know, who would anyone like some tea? I would love some tea. Tea sounds and, and she delightful. Goes, <laughs> she goes over and she takes in the little, in the corner, actually I'll switch the map so we can see the interior of the hut. I have a cat hair on my nose that won't go away. Um, so she goes into the the corner, um, the front corner where there's like a, a fire pit kind of thing. And she takes two small rocks that are inside of it. Um, and she whacks them together really hard and kind of drops them. And they both start to glow a little bit and, and, and crackle a little. It's not fire, but it's it's heat. Um, and she takes out a, a kettle, a, an enclosed kettle, and sort of starts stirring in um, some tea and making tea. I am going to ask the guy that I am under the table with <laughs> if he would like some tea. <laughs> if I can get um, him anything. <laughs> he is shaking a little bit less um, and sort of just don't like tea. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, my, my name's Tama, by the way. My name is Rooney. What the heck are you? Well, that's quite rude. I, you, sorry, you just, I, you have a lot more arms than I've seen. They're tentacles, my dude. <laughs> I'm an Ursulani. Oh, okay. Um, the tentacles kind of just go whoop and frill out a little bit. That's kind of weird. Okay, cool. Why are you, you like under this table? I was just checking to make sure you're okay. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. How are you? Well, I'm better now that we're not fighting. Um, you're on the good side, right? How did you get stuck in the mirror? What's the good side? I I mean uh, I serve the emperor. Um, but does Tama have any uh, idea what who the emperor is? <laughs> Make a history check. Oh boy. It's gonna be some sort of ancient emperor that's oh. long dead or something weird. I forgot how to spell emperor for a split second. Uh, let's say 14 plus 3, so 17. Uh, with a 17, you um, are aware that the area you live in has a king. Um, and you are not familiar <laughs> with an area that has an emperor. Oh, boy. Um... I was... And I was, I was, I was in that mirror for 
I don't know. I don't know how long I've been in there. Um, it's really foggy and I couldn't, there was nobody else in there. Um, and um, well, huh? I think it might have been, um, a little bit of time, oh, more than, more than a little bit of time. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, is the, and I'm going to go over yeah. and just be like, hello me, hello me. Yeah. Yeah. When was when was the last time there was an emperor? Oh, oh, that day of Christ. Uh... <laughs> um, Denbor has never had an emperor. They've always had um, a royal family, but not an emperor. So far as I know, there's only ever been a royal family. There, there hasn't been an emperor, so to speak, in Genbor, in my knowledge. I don't think um, the guy under the table is from Genbor or anywhere around here. Good assessment. Or around this time. Yeah. I let's, don't know. Let's what take it slow. Do. He's... Uh, is the tea done yet? The tea is just now <laughs> finishing up. <laughs> and Mirrod is very strong. <laughs> well, she had to boil the water first. Um, Mirrod brings oh, right, around, right, right. you know, little little spheres. That's what we drink out of underwater because I said so. Um, and and passes around tea to everyone. I'm going to swim over to our new friend um, under the table um, and hold out um, an extra mm -hmm. sphere to him and go, uh, you should uh, drink up. I didn't see any sources of like uh, drinking water or anything while I was in the mirror. Um, okay. Yeah. The, the... Okay. He takes it. He kind of like takes a sip and he makes a face but he doesn't hand it back would I have overheard any of the conversation between Toma and Rooney or not I'd say so um, it's not a very big hut I'm gonna say uh, so where are you from oh, four gold snacks because currently we're in Genbor, but I, I suspect that you're not from around here. You are not in Genbor. You are in the oh Lanathma Forest, which is adjacent yes. to Genbor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, Tama is very much not in Genbor. <laughs> There's not a name for this whole re region. Uh, but, yeah, so um, you ask him where he's from, and he, he says, um, I'm from... Krella? Krella? Oh, which, uh, with a K and two L's. Nice. Um, I serve Emperor, Emperor Egan. I, I fight in his armies. His bat, his, I am in his, the army. Is he telling the truth? Do I get the sense that he's telling the truth? Make an insight check. Hey. Insight. Uh, 18. 18. He is telling the truth and he is very confused and pretty, like, anxious. Uh, if you're a fighter, what, uh, what stopped you from, you know, helping out before? Uh, uh, it, um, I never hit a lady. Um, it's, it's, you can't, it's bad, to, bad to hit a lady. Mm -hmm. You were afraid, weren't you? 
It's okay to be afraid. Say it out loud. Not in the army. We're not in the army. I we're am. in someone's house. Well, okay, but we're not going to tell them. You promise? Yes, I promise. Because that's kind of how I ended up, ended up in, I guess, the mirror. Um, I was hiding in um, a closet. And then the mirror was glowing and... Ah. Uh, you touched the mirror, didn't you? I didn't touch it, I just looked at, at it. I made the same mistake myself. You were in there too? Yeah, briefly. Until my friends worked out how to get me out. And you too. And I... uh, these two folks and that one over there. Uh, are you pointing at the, the doppelganger? Yeah. Um, he looks over and kind of like gives like a shudder and it's like, mm. he, that was in there too. But I no, didn't we don't see judge it. Did people based on their appearances, but uh, yeah, he was in there too. <laughs> did you? Could you see them in there when you were in there? Uh, no, couldn't see anyone. And we could only see Leo when we called out their name. And since we didn't know the others. Um, Lenda, Mirden has been sort of, um, what's the word, fussing over Lenda for several, for all of this. Um, Because they haven't seen each other in 20 years. And um, she finally turns around and says, "Um, yeah, you can you can choose to speak to the creatures within, but I didn't know he was in there. I was expecting these two to come out, not you two, pointing to Leo and the, the merfolk in the corner. <clears throat> so he must have been there before we were. I don't I don't really know How anything about you, uh, an emperor. Come into possession of this mirror. How did it get here? And where was it before? Um, before it was in the uh, Niftosh's house. But again, he didn't look like that before. He looked like a big gray beard, wizardy kind of guy. Um, and it was in his house. And he trapped uh, Lenda in it, but I I couldn't figure out how to get her out, so I trapped him, but I couldn't figure out how to get them out. Is Niftosh awake? He's currently he's unconscious. He's unconscious, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask, and whereabouts is Niftosh's place? Is it like near here or is it a while away? Mirden says um, he's kind of on the, the outskirts of North Fork. Well, he was. But I don't think that was his house. I think that was the house of whoever's face he stole. Mm. Since we've seen that he can do that. Then I guess the question is, did that mirror come with the house or did it come with Niftosh? I don't know. We were just trying to find the wizard in the house. Of course, of course. I'm so sorry. It's it's all right. We're we're. Thank you. I thank you so much for reuniting us. Um, I don't know how I can repay you. I I don't have much. I, I live in a hut in the mud. You gave us one hell of a story, and that's enough for me personally. Oh, I love Alomi. <laughs> um, and uh, these are uh, wolf eels out the, the front of your place. Uh, I'm guessing you're sort of like their, their friend and their guardian type thing. Oh. Because uh, they, they caused a little bit of a ruckus over in town while you were Oh. Gone. Is that why you're here? Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. to be fair, yeah. if they hadn't have come into town, we would have never become here and never been able to, you know, help free from the mirror. So if anything, uh, the wolf eels saved you. And they didn't oh, attack the, the people. It was mostly the fences and things. They, and then us when we got here. Maybe they were guiding us here. I'm sorry, I didn't think they were that them. smart. I, they, I've been caring for them for quite a while, but I did not think they were smart enough to seek out help. She so she sort of gets off of the bed and and float and uh, Axel Axelorns move a little differently than like your average merfolk. Um, she kind of makes her way to the door and she opens the door and she gives a, a whistle, which I can't do, and um, a couple of the eels pop out of the mud and come up to her and like wrap around her kind of tail and she like they are super affectionate to her. Um, oh, now I did feel you... bad. <laughs> um, they did fling she... mud, mud at us. They will do that. They do that to me sometimes. Oh. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wait, she's like, like petting one, basically like scratching it. She's like, "What are you sorry for?" We. We thought that they did were. You, did you go to get someone to rescue me? Is that what you did? Never mind. It's not important. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Can octopuses twiddle their uh, tentacles? Because that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. To be clear, I think we only killed one. And the rest ran off? Or did we that kill was... a bunch of them and then one Ooh. ran off? I'm I think I just sunk into the... I think I just sunk into the mud after taking too many hits. Well, no, they're the, one, they're the ones town. at the farm. Back in town, yeah. yeah. Oh, those... Oh. We, we killed... Yeah. We killed some doggos, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is on the table. Uh, <laughs> They're this is like an in-game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we killed her pet coyotes. Um, so as uh, <laughs> pet wolf, uh, um, oh Mirden kind of looks around and and she takes um, something from uh, on the desk and she sort of scatters some like food out into the mud and the eels kind of skitter off and skitter no like dart off and go um eat it she says yeah they um they used to attack the people um in town all the time and so i just sort of brought them out here and helped them settle into this area instead that's such wonderful work thank you it gave me something to do while trying to Figure out how to get her out of that mirror. Um, you're welcome to stay uh, and, and rest if you'd like. Um, I can, I can hear. And she rifles in a drawer and she pulls out a small um, pouch and hands it to whoever's closest. Which would probably be a Lomi, I think. Uh, probably. She hands you a like a little pouch. Oh, what what's this? Oh, to to thank you. I it's the least I can do. I I don't have much, but you you saved my sister. You, you defeated this asshole, and and you saved me. <laughs> and uh, I presume that now we've you know we've prevented some more damage from Thestalon. I, I won't keep denying if you keep offering, but are you sure? <laughs> I insist. Take it. Okay. Well, wake him up. Be... <laughs> okay. She says that and, like immediately regrets it. Like, wait, that was too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
what are we going to do with um, our shifty friend over here? Maybe we should move this party to the, the Wicked Clam, just so that we can give these two their privacy back. Yeah, and that I, seems like a good idea. Feed him I know that party. Winifred has... <laughs> I think that Winifred has a basement that we can use for him, at least. I thought we were just... This is Linda talking now. I figured we just... just... You always gotta eat, right? Are you gonna take him with you? Uh, do we know if there's any sort of like law enforcement or uh, anything that we could like hand this person over to? Um, you haven't seen much in Thastalon. Um, it's pretty like community run. There, there might be, but you haven't really seen anything. You know that like bigger cities have have things like that. Um, in that case, I'm gonna be all like, "Well, uh, he did you wrong, so I guess uh, his punishment should be up to you." And I'm saying that to um, Lender and Mirden. I do think that he might have important information. And then Tomo was gonna say that he did not seem very forthcoming when Leo asking questions. So um, I don't know if there's a cleric in town, we might be able to get some information get. out of him. Uh, Mirden will say, you, I suppose you could take him to Mayor Una. Mayor Una. She would probably, I think that's her name. I don't get in town much. I kind of just lurk um, in the out here, but Una, I think, is the mayor's name. She might have something to say. I, I, we could take care of him here. You could take him there. It's kind of up to you. I don't particularly have a thought one way or the other. I mean, I don't trust him to not try to make himself look like a member of the law. Uh, get out. I simply thought that he might loosen up a little bit if he was in a different environment because he seemed pretty pressed while we were inside of this hut. Okay. Yeah, um, time, in a, time in a cell might make him uh, a little bit more loose-lipped. Okay. Um, anyway, so are you going to, are you, you want to take him back, back to the town? We are going to take him back to town. I'm going to probably put him in some sort of like sack or something. Um, <laughs> because I'm a merborg, I can carry, my, my carrying capacity is increased. So. Kidnap a doppelganger, stick him in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> Are you truly playing Dungeons and Dragons if you have not put someone in a bag? <laughs> Wait, okay, uh, so everyone froze yeah, back. There. All I heard was that last part. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, bag. though. We are Do we have a sack big enough? Bag. Bag. Do you I'm have a sure. sack big enough? Uh, he's kind of lanky. He has joints. I'm sure does I mean, like does he float? Because he can just kind of poke his body <laughs> and move him, him, him along. Drag him along on a rope. <laughs> like some sort of strange balloon. <laughs> Like the weirdest balloon. <laughs> Do you attach the rope by like his front or his tail or his neck? Like where are you attaching the rope? Around his midsection. And I'm also making sure that his hands are still tied because I know that spellcasters at least need 
hands for a lot of things. Somatic. Okay, you you tie him up, and you tie him up, and you and he's gagged, and you drag him behind you, <laughs> and you head back. There's magic that you only have to talk for. To town. Okay, you head back, back to, to town. town. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, are you where are you headed with him? You don't um, necessarily know where Una is, but you could probably ask around. Or you can take it to the wiki clan. I'm sure that when I'm would that. know. But I guess that depends on, like, the setup of the town versus where we are. I mean, if there are people, like, who are swimming around as we enter the town, can we just ask someone okay. where Mayor Una is? Um, you see a random merble just kind of on the edge of town um, who is tending... Um, Right on the edge of town, there's a little like cave with a gate in front of it, mm-hmm. and you can there's like animals behind it, and so they're tending to these animals. And you can uh, go up and ask good day, them. Uh, yes, do you hello. Want to know where we may find Mayor Una. Oh yeah, uh, Mayor Una. Mayor Una, this time of day is usually at um, the Devil's Tusk, down down the Devil's road, Tusk. on the right. Thank you kindly. Have a good one. And then we're gonna keep swimming. Uh, did Rooney come with us? Question. That's a great question. Um, he probably kind of awkwardly followed you through the forest because it's like an hour away, I think into the forest um and then once yeah so he was behind you but then as soon as you you have to pass the wicked clam um he probably darted in there because he saw alcohol fair point fair. solid life choice solid life choice all right uh what else do you this, do let's take this uh dead weight to the mayor shall we because, I mean, Sorry. really, he was the cause of the uh, the wolf eel attacks. Kind of. I'm just imagining this, like, really fucked up looking balloon and it's just Niftosh there. <laughs> <laughs> Free balloon day! Really, really Lord. sad Macy's um, day. Yeah, so the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> so, the Devil's Task is down at the end of the road and um, there we'll kind of cut this short. There's a, um, a merbold woman kind of in the front area. And if you ask for Una, um, she will direct you kind of to the back where there, there's like people working on, um, it's like a blacksmith kind of area. They've got a big heat thing. Yeah, working on stuff. Uh-huh. And um, Una is actually working, at, you know, doing blacksmithy stuff. And it's so it's the goal rolled a seven for klepto. <laughs> Shit, what does a seven mean? I don't think it seven means doesn't... much. Yeah, so there's just a hand that grabs. She almost just grabs the tentacle and holds it in place. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so you go up to, to Una and she's kind of... Bessie Harris says, yes? Oh, what? What is... What is going on? Okay, don't freak out. But long story short, we fixed the eel problem because this person here, well, this shapeshiftery being who can take the form of anyone's faces, so be careful, he trapped the person who was taking care of the eels into a magical mirror. But we have him now person who's looking after the eels is free so hopefully no more eel problems but what? this person needs to be dealt with there's a person looking after the eels uh Meredith? yeah i think the uh, local kids call her the lurker that's just She's a story a really nice lady. I, uh, what is the accusation against that this him uh, he trapped well, yeah, he basically trapped people inside the mirror and uh, 
So he's kind of like the cause of this whole thing. Kidnapping, I think murder, because he had the form of someone that we've never seen or heard of before or since. Um, Is there a, a witness who can attest to all of these crimes? Yeah, there's uh, Mirden and uh, Linda. I, I don't know who those people are, but if... Um, there's also uh, a gentleman Daphne, named Rooney I'll getting right very... Back. In the wicked clam. That's he was also great. stuck in the uh, mirror. I think he was only stuck I'm... in the mirror. I don't think he met. Uh, I don't think he met this Niftosh. But anyway, yes. If we can tell you where the 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 lurker, or I'm pretty sure she'd prefer to be called Mernda, lives, or Midden, Midden and Lenda. Um, we can show you where they live, <laughs> and they can tell you their story. And uh, yeah, I mean, he did try to kill us. In all fairness, but. Uh, we're All right. Why don't movies. um. Why don't I take him? Uh, we've got we've got a couple of cells, in the back. Um, and I will come find you and take your statements later. How's how's that sound? Excellent, excellent. And uh, yes, he can take anyone's face that he's seen. So, just be careful. Also, also a magic like, caster. So, oh, like remove it. I don't think that he takes the face off. I think that he just assumes oh. the shape of someone and then murders them to take their spot. All right, Daphne, we're going to need a little help. <laughs> and the, the merbolg that you met at the front comes out and they they take him off into the back. Okay. Um, and, and, and Una says, and where can I find you later? Uh, we're staying at the Wicked Clan. Of course you are. I'll, I'll, I'll come find you. Um, and yeah, and so she goes into the back and she's gone. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that's like our civic duty done. Uh, shall we go back to the Wicked Clan? A little bit flushing really hard and is nodding. Yeah. All right. You go back to the Wicked Clan. Um, it's pretty lively in there right now. It's like mid-afternoon at this point, um, possibly early evening. Um, and you see, uh, you see a DM looking at her notes. Um, <laughs> Rooney is in the corner, passed out, plastered. God. Um, <laughs> Speed and run. He's gonna pick up one of his hands and like let it drop. <laughs> <I'll be> like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Thanks to be it. fair, that seems like a reasonable uh, reaction to being stuck in a mirror for who knows how long. When we'll afraid, we'll let him sleep. Uh, sees you come in and rushes over and says, "That drunk guy over there uh, told me of your heroics, and oh my goodness." Did, did you save the town? Is it true you saved the town? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd say so. There's currently someone who can kind of? take over anyone's uh, physical form in the jails. We just brought them to Mayor Una. All right, then. Um, thank you so much. And she shakes each one of your hands, uh, ending with Tama. And Talma, she slips a piece of paper into your hand. Which I don't think I have. Talma does not look at it right away, um, but slips it into one of their pockets. Just gives a quick little nod of thanks. Okay, she kind of doesn't really acknowledge it and starts off to serve more drinks. Um, what would you like to do? Would you like to find a place to look at it? Yes, Tom, I would like to go up to their room and take a look at uh, a piece of paper. Uh, you left in quite a hurry. Should you require any assistance or protection, you need only knock at my office door after dark falls and we can speak further. And it's signed, 
F. Um, yeah, so you have settled back at the Wicked Clam. It is evening. I presume you would probably like to retire for the evening. Um, at which point you will be getting your long rest and leveling up. Yay. Woo! Yes! Woo! <laughs> so we'll talk, we'll talk level ups um, online, like on our own. And I think uh, that's where we're going to end it because it's just about six. And uh, it's getting late in the morning for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh. like nearly 11 a.m. What day is it? It's uh, Wednesday here. Tuesday. <laughs> still Tuesday. For another three yeah, hours. Tuesday. Um, anyway, so we got a little more information, um, a little, and we have arrested a doppelganger. Woohoo! Yes. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to, oh, let's just show the art again really quick because it's just too good. It is, it is very pretty. Okay. So we have, we have Tama our wonderful Ursulani rogue. And again, these are by Jade, um, whose handle is Unusual Usual Studios. The, uh, the credit is going to be up at the end of our stream. And then like I said, we'll be tagging her and posting it on Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Um, so definitely go look out for that. We have, there's Tama and this is Leo. I, I love the attention to detail. Yes, I love too. that you can see Leo's scars. I love it. I, I love it so much. It's just so wonderful. Yeah. I love them. Um, I just want to cuddle them. They look like they would be really good to cuddle. Really, like, absurdly good. <laughs> and then, of course, we have our uh, Cardinal Fish Merfolk Bold. Bold? Bard. <laughs> That's the one. Bold Bard. Mer-bold. Mer- the Bold <laughs> Bard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway thank you so much for joining us everyone um thank you to tiggy as always tiggy biddles for uh running our stream yeah and we'll see you next week all right thanks Bye. everyone for joining us and happy thank birthday you so much. Happy, happy birthday thank you. happy birthday ever thank you Bye.